Welcome back to Energy Scapes, Ocean and Space. Um, today I've got a very interesting topic to discuss. Uh, what I have here is a copy of the uh, Wilson Davis memo, the infamous Wilson Davis memo that's um, come out. Um, I didn't want to discuss it specifically, but what I wanted to have a conversation about is the problem with compartmentalization, not just in intelligence and national security circles, but in society, and in particular, the impact that has on science and the development and um, forward thinking or progression of science in general. Um, because, say, for example, in, in, in the memo, um, we've got some people mentioned or individuals mentioned that appear in this book by Annie Jacobson, The Phenomena. Uh, we've also got um, Colonel Corso, his name appears in there, who um, put together the day after Roswell. Um, but also to note in particular one sentence or a couple of sentences that I want to focus on and just discuss compartmentalization and that's in reading through this memo um, a program or a particular program manager says that they had um, an object or item that they didn't know where it was from um, and they had some ideas about this and pointed out that perhaps it was not of this earth not by, made by man or of non-human origin um, and we're trying to understand and exploit the technology be going on for years and years with very slow progress um, so I just want to pick up on that um, people may or may not be aware of the memo and it's up for them to to read it and develop their own thinking what I want to do is just discuss compartmentalization because Compartmentalization in military, intelligence, government, whatever, just reflects society and human thinking and limits our progression as a race or a species uh, in comparison to other civilizations, both ancient and proposed. Um, and if we go further, what we're doing is we're leaving out individuals and key thinkers historically and the information they provide that can offer solutions to the points or sentences I pointed out in the Wilson Davis memo. And we can go back to, and these are all scientists that are just not mainstream. And this just, just all gets shoved aside. And we wonder why and how we can't figure out something that we acquire and, and then we hide it away and we, and we can compartmentalize it all. And we wonder why we're stuck for the last hundred years not really going anywhere except shoving uh, objects on top of giant rockets and shooting them up into LEO. So, I mean, we can go back to people like Pavlenko, you know, professor of, in, at the Inter International University of Human Development, Kiev, uh, head of International Academy of Bioenergy Technology, inventor of protective devices to protect humans and animals from negative of effects of torsion fields. Uh, we can go to uh, and also he looked at uh, torsion fields, what they are, how they're created and what influence they have on biological organisms. I've got a point to this in relation to the Wilson Davis memo, just bear with me. We can go back to a German physician, Anton Mesmer, I think it's pronounced uh, in his doctoral thesis on the influence of planets and talks about torsion fields, e torsion fields emanating from biological organisms. Uh, we can go to Reichenbach, who researched in, researched in all pervading polar force, thousands of experiments on people that are particularly sensitive to torsion fields and call them highly sensitive people. Uh, we can go to Carton and 1922, expansion of general theory of relativity, uh, supplanted the general theory of relativity with rotating fields of matter, uh, assumed Einstein's space-time curvature was accompanied by torsion, developed a theory of gravitation that included torsion, but in 1922, electron spin wasn't known. Uh, we can go to Korsarev after World War II, uh, looked at the theory of time and, and its emergence, postulated that time is an energy that propagates through rotational movement and can be transferred. We can go to Shipoff, investigations from the Feynman diagram, divergences in quantum electrodynamics, uh, his basic work of theory of physical vacuum, a new paradigm. 
and from independent gravitational fields fundamental research showed that these fields are fundamentally different from the classical electromagnetic and gravitational fields uh, and then finally the the big man uh, Maxwell and the hijacking of his equations for electricity by Heaviside that set science back a hundred years so the point the point I want to make in all this is that the Wilson memo just points out that when you compartmentalize something you're trying to figure it all out and it's tied up in um, unacknowledged special ad access projects uh, overseen by a contractor the, the progress is so slow because one mainstream science is by consensus right so anything that's published or comes out and is then taught uh, and trains human, the human mind and human thinking and shuts down uh, free thinking because it's not um, it's not by consensus uh, following the, the peer review and the publication process so all the authors and scientists I've just mentioned that have come up with all the stuff uh, are put aside um, that could provide solutions to the issues around non-human objects that are required and they're trying to figure out how they work and then I will take this one step further and look at STEM um, STEM as a way of thinking and STEM seems to be shoved again into the realm of well it's just coding and, and robots uh, and that what a load of rubbish you know it's that's just the human mind and and it's tunnel vision again that, that, that that's what STEM is STEM is a way of thinking and integrated integration of thoughts and ideas um, that could solve the very problems that these compartmented programs are trying to sort out by going uh, taking a several steps back looking at the authors I've just mentioned figuring out that perhaps they've all got part of the solution if we put it all together um, we'll we'll start to know rather quickly how this all works um, in particular Maxwell and his work in combination with all the authors I've just mentioned uh, I could go on about this for a long time but the point I wanted to make out with the Wilson Davis memo is that it just reflects the way humans think um, which is rather primitive and we need to stop doing that if we want to be a spacefaring race it's time to, to wake up and, and move away from this and, and start to bring on board and accept the science that is denied um, I'll leave it for there from now and get on the comments and get in touch and we can continue discussion uh, if you want any of my services or want to contact me to be involved in, in anything please get in touch and we'll hear from you soon